the school for 25 years has had competitive boys and girls swim programs, but no pool for them to swim in. And uh, we've used um, other pools within the district, but the pools in those two facilities are also aging. So with the bulkhead, we do have the one body of water. Um, it is deeper on one end, so when you're swimming competitively, you're in a faster pool. Our uh, diving team can now practice while our high school swim team is practicing. That was another reason why we wanted to go with an eight lane pool. And I think our coaches and Winseth and Knutson Construction throughout this project were instrumental in allowing us to explore what, what could this possibly be in a design phase. We had 12 community meetings and during those 12 meetings, we asked the community what are your wants? What are your needs? What does this pool have to have? The design process was collaborative. Uh, we reached out to the community. We spoke with multiple users. We spoke to athletes, to parents, to coaches. Those parents and those coaches really impacted and drove the design to what they wanted to see at Century High School. Um, we engaged the outdoor club. Uh, we wanted to make sure we could even put canoes and scuba diving gear in the storage rooms. We reached out to the uh, special education community to make sure we had handicap lifts into the pool. Every part of this, people listened to what we wanted for an experience for kids. It can be used by so many different groups and uh, this is going to hopefully enhance that for the community of Rochester. So interesting design details and features that are added to the pool include a, a blue duct system, or it's an underground ducting system, which pulls the air off of the surface of the water and exhausts that out of the building. This eliminates the smell of chlorine. I guess one of my favorite parts probably is the pool equipment and learning how that runs. And you know, we have 440,000 gallons of water in this pool. It took 45 and a half uh, hours to fill the pool. Uh, another part of this project is a storm shelter, which includes two locker rooms and then plus a special ed locker room and a special ed changing room. Always very uh, informational to work with Widseth. Um, they were always very responsive when I had questions. So to have them to be able to come on site whenever I needed them uh, was very helpful. So we had right around uh, 20 subcontractors and all together, I would say there's probably close to 200 people that worked on this. Quality craftsmanship, quality workmanship, quality architecture by Winseth. And I think this again is something that our community will be extremely proud of when they get into this facility and look at it. And again, something that we're truly proud of.